This is a first alert weather alert day because of flash flooding that is taking place around southeastern California. Every box that you see there blinking in red, those are flash flood warnings currently in effect. The latest one now in place until 2 a.m tomorrow morning. Zooming in, taking a look at where some of the heavier rain is falling really closer to the Salton Sea, beginning to drift towards the east as you're noticing that motion. But I'm zooming in this far because I want to point out some of the roads that are included within this flash flood warning. It does include Box Canyon. It does include I-10. Keep this in mind. Avoid these roads if you can, because of course these are locations that are typically very dry, but are prone to runoff when heavy rain is associated in the area. Now, even if that rain isn't directly over that uh, particular spot, it can still run off and move it that way. Also, these flash flood warnings do extend as far east as Desert Center. We're continuing to track these thunderstorms out across Joshua Tree National Park. It's been quite the active afternoon and evening. We also have this flash flood warning up, including Highway 62 in San Bernardino County, just towards the east of 29 Palms. Look at the amount of lightning associated with these storm cells, and really you're looking at the bright pinks there, indicating very heavy rain that is associated as well. Right around the Coachella Valley, we even had this uh, cell make its way right around Sky Valley, Thousand Palms. We could hear the thunder from here in the KESQ studio. Everything now beginning to get pushed towards the east, so that is the motion. These storms now making their way towards the east, but that that does not mean that the threat of flash flooding is gone because again that associated runoff. So why is flooding so dangerous, especially when we're talking about moving water? All it takes is six inches of moving water to sweep a person away sweep you off your feet. You add another six inches on top of that, and then it can then sweep a vehicle away. So always, if you come across a flooded roadway, regardless of you think you can make through it or not, turn around, don't drown. You don't know exactly how deep that water is. Plus, there could be debris under that water that is not visible from your site. So we're dealing with the threat of flash flooding, also reduced visibility from these gusty winds. I mean, look at this, just a wall of gray out there when we're looking towards the east. On your Comfort Air 7-day forecast the rest of this week, no comparison. We're actually warming up. We're getting drier. Plenty of sunshine that's going to be following us into this Labor Day weekend, Peter.